What's up YouTube, Bloodspawn here with today's mail day. Got a little bit of everything today. Got a um, package from a YouTuber. I got three uh, purchases, eBay purchases, and eight TTMs to go along with it. A couple failures though, but a couple uh, great returns. <clears throat> so we'll start with the uh, eBay, no, the uh, YouTuber. This is from Pacers Fan Forever. I think I said Packers Fan Forever. I guess it could be either one. Um, sent me the uh, money for the box break. And he also was kind enough to send two Eagles jersey cards, a Mike Kafka rookie jersey and a Brian Westbrook jersey uh, for my son. So um, he's already seen them since he came home. He saw them laying there. So he was already uh, very happy. So thanks for that, man. Uh, Mark Chidon has paid for the box break. So hopefully we can get you something. And best of all, his package came with five uncanceled stamps, so I will try to reuse those. The eBay purchases, got some posters um, for the con, uh, Blood on the Beach in April. Got two of this one, uh, one for me and one for my friend that's going with me. This is for the never-ending story. Looks real nice. It's really thick paper. It's not like your normal poster paper. Um... So that's one that one, and then like I said, we got a second one, so there's two of that. And both these are for her. I kind of want to jack this one because I only have an 11 by 17. But this is a uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween full-size poster. And what I never realized before is like I send four by sixes out of this all the time. And you see that like the face, it just looks like the new the, like the Rob Zombie's face, but it's actually like people's faces and stuff. Like little clips from the movie, which I never realized that before seeing it on a four by six. So this looks pretty cool. I only have an eleven by seventeen, but my eleven by seventeen's already been signed by Tom Tolls, so I'm just gonna have to make sure everybody signs really small. Um, and then she also picked up the same, uh, the same Jason poster. You guys already seen this before. She picked up that for the uh, Friday the Thirteenth people. Well, that's all the uh, purchases. To get to the TTMs. We'll start with the failures. Uh, Matt Hughes RTS. This thing's been out there 341 days. It took to uh, to get my RTS. Um, so no luck on that. But I get my four by six back of them to try to reuse at a later time. I've already updated that on uh, Star Tiger. And another uncanceled stamp, if I can get it off an envelope that it's been on for 300 some days, that'll be a project. Also, a uh, Zane Savage, Savage List RTS. Not sure if uh, anybody else has gotten this one back, uh, but it's a Sting 157 Spring Grove Drive. It just says, not at this address. Somebody hand wrote that on there. It did go to Texas. Uh, not deliverable as address. Unable to forward is what it says. So, no luck on Sting. And the last um, failure, um, semi-failure, it did get there, and it was open, and it did come back in my self-addressed stamped envelope. It took 29 days, but everything's unsigned. This is James Kane. Uh, got back my misery picture sob, signed by Rob Reiner, so I'm glad to get that back. Unsigned by James Kane. Two book plates unsigned by him, so... <coughs> no luck on him. And on to the successes for the day. Let's see, one for last. This is coming from Santa Clarita, California. It took 30 days. This is actress Jessica Schramm. Signed my index card. And three four by sixes. David, thanks for the support. Jessica Shram, Jesse Shram, signed the shot from TV show in gold. <coughs> oh, man, I'm dying. And uh, signed the Unstoppable movie poster right there above the train. So good points. Next up, it's a pretty cool one. Uh, Los Angeles, California it took 111 days. 
This is actress Alice Evans. Uh, I know her from Lost, but she's been in some other stuff. To David with Love. Sign this shot here. To David with Love, Alice Evans. And sign this the same way. Love that shot. To David with Love, Alice Evans. And she also filled out my questionnaire. I haven't gotten one of these back in forever since I stopped sending them. Uh, let's see. What are your overall thoughts on signing autographs, the hobby of them being collected, and the people that write to you? Fun and sometimes scary to get sent photos I had forgotten. How many autographs do you get in every week on average? Not that many. She says about 30. Do you have any preferences on what you sign or how many items you sign or any words of advice? She says, much easier if they send photos and pre-addressed envelopes. I frequently run out of photos and forget to replenish. Do you yourself have any autographs? If so, what's your favorite? She says, only one, David Frost, um, for when she was 11. Do you ever get any gifts or weird items sent to you, uh, either to keep or sign? And she put no comment. So I'm sure she does. There you go. And skip the last one, and we'll jump to the 8x10s coming from Airmail Canada. Sent back all three of my 4x6s. This is actress Laura Manel, M-E-N-N-E-L. Sign this real nice photo, silver sharpie. All the best to you, David. Signature on the bottom. Sign my Watchmen movie poster right there. More good points. Signed it nice and small, both of these, so awesome. Signed a 13 Ghost movie poster, which is an awesome movie. Wasn't too thrilled with Watchmen, but it's all right. And then, and because she sent me the big one, she sent me a nice big 8x10. Laura Manel. Can't get rid of that glare. David, thanks for your kindness, Laura Manel. Then on the back, she wrote, keep in touch with me on Twitter, her Twitter name, and Facebook. Take care. And sign that as well. So, pretty cool success. Love getting the 8x10 bonuses. I'm not, this happened again, though. If I can get it in there. Mm, yep, yeah, you see that little bubble? She put a paper clip on it. There you go. So, but it's a bonus nonetheless. And the next 8x10 got this back in, I'm sorry, Laura Manel took 30 days. This one took seven. Came back in my self dress. They stamped my stamps again. Damn it. My plan to put them out of business, I think they called on to. Signed both my index cards and my 8x10. To David, best wishes, Jason Wingreen. This one, as you were, no, as you wish, Jason Wingreen. Um, put Bubba's voice, and here's the eight by ten. Signed it right down there. So we got Amy Allen followed by Jason Wingreen. So two singers on. Everybody signed it nice and small. So plenty of room. I'm guessing like. Not that many people have Silver Sharpie. I put in my letter, like, Silver Sharpie, but if you don't have Silver Sharpie, sign on the white in any other color. So, people are signing on the white, but I don't know if that means they don't have Silver Sharpies or what. They're like $2 at Walmart. Mm, these people are celebrities. I don't understand. I have, like, five Silver Sharpies, and I'm poor. All right, and the last one, guys. <sighs> I kind of freaked out when I opened this. Anytime I get Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Arlington, Irving, anything Texas, I automatically know, or damn near know, it's going to be a cowboy. So I opened this up and out fell a football card. And it's my favorite player, DeMarcus Ware. And I kind of lost it there for a second. And, but I don't, I'm not 100%. Um, I know people have different signatures. If I'm, if I'm, uh, you know, if you're sitting down with Panini or something, and you're signing a bunch of stickers to put on cards, or you're signing cards, you're gonna take your time and make them look good because you're getting paid to do that. 
uh, and then the cards are being bought and people are paying good money for them so you take it your time and put your best signature on there the same is if you're at a convention or a signing you're being paid for that you're gonna make sure every autograph looks nice and neat and perfect but then you got your I run into you at a hotel you're gonna swiggle and be done quick as I can or if I run into you if you come up after a game or during spring training and I'm sitting on the sideline you're gonna swiggle real quick so I don't know I look through I can't find anything certified that signed like this by DeMarcus Ware all his certified stuff looks there's a, there's a couple that are, are off, but football cards and stuff like that all look the same, just about. But this signature here, I can only find one other one, and it was another through the mail. Um, on Star Tiger, there's like four different through the mails for him. Most of it's purchased or, or in person. Um, but the out of the four through the mails, one of them looks like this. Another one looks not like this but not like the certified stuff either so I'm not 100 percent on this I don't want to get too excited this did get sent um, straight to the Cowboys address but that doesn't mean that he still doesn't have people there but anyway I'll shut up if anybody has ideas on this you can comment down below it won't hurt my feelings I have 16 17 autographs of this guy all certified so it's not gonna hurt my feelings but it, I just could finally cross out I have like four pending for him any address that ever pops up, I send to. So it'd be nice to finally stop trying to get them TTM if this is real. So here's the card. And you can see it's just a swiggle first letter and maybe a second or third letter. The numbers look legit, though. Uh, I do have a couple things signed by him that he number inscribed. And then the nine is dead on. And the four, he usually draws the four and he has that little swiggle around right there. So the numbers are point on point exact. Um, it's just the the swiggle real quick signature not spelled out like he normally does <clears throat> which uh, I'll give you a good example of here's see so it's spelled out you can I mean it's not all the way perfect but you can see the D a couple more letters the W the, yeah, the A-R-E is almost there. So, <clears throat> the 4 by 6 probably a little bit easier to see than the card. Again, the numbers are identical. Here's the 4 by 6 Here's the numbers. There's the swiggle on the end of the 4. The 9, he always comes straight up and then loops it around. It's just the 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 actual name that I'm worried about the numbers match perfectly so anybody can do some research or something like that and figure these out for me and tell me if they're legit or not like again if they're not tell me if they are I can stop sending TTM for them and I got them off the TTM list and <clears throat> be done with them that way alright guys that's it for me awesome mail day uh, that turns out to be legit a great mail day but either way, I'll take what I got. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, if you haven't checked out, I got some for sale videos up. If you're interested in sports cards, signed books, signed 8 by 10s celebrities, sports. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in there, something for everybody. So check that out, please. Uh, thank you.